everyone welcome back to my channel so let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know be sure to like comment and subscribe and click that notification bell so when i upload readings you guys will be notified all right y'all so i had to pull out the sage okay because when i was doing the pre-shuffle i felt some real heavy energy um i was sighing a lot also, I kept clearing my throat. So I feel like somebody has something they want to say to you, but they could be holding back right now. Maybe they don't know if you're going to accept it well. Maybe they don't know if you're going to reject them. Some of you blocked someone as well because my throat chakra is definitely blocked. Okay. Um, I feel like you're going to unblock this person at some point because you're going to want to talk to them. Um, I also was picking up the energy that some of you are disappointed that you can't keep your word with yourself. I'm gonna repeat that. Some of you are disappointed that you can't keep your word with yourself. And I'm, I'm hearing like, it's okay, don't beat yourself up. That just means you still love this person and you're not ready to walk away just yet. Oh, this sage went out, I'll put it here. You're not ready to walk away from this person just yet. But when you are, You'll know it. You don't have to fight back and forth with yourself, okay? So we're going to see what comes out here. Got sage everywhere. I just feel like some of you are really struggling to um, either make a decision about your love life or make a decision about a job. So for some of you, it's finances, it's your career, and then for others of you, it's love. It's like... You feel like you can't do it anymore. There's some times where you're like, I just need a break from the person or the situation. And then when you've had some time to yourself and you're able to think things through, you can think rationally about the situation. So we have the Seven of Swords. The Two of Cups reversed. The High Priestess. Yep, the lovers. Look at that. Um, I did see the high priestess and the lovers a lot in your um, pre-shuffle. So I feel like the universe is telling you to trust your intuition when it comes to this person. This could be a Gemini or a Pisces, or you could be a Gemini dealing with the Pisces. Okay, take it how it resonates. But with the two of cups reverse, you feel like this person drained you. And you have a lot of resentment for them because you're like, why? Like, if you're not going to treat me the way I deserve to be treated, why do you keep sneaking back into my life? Why do you keep sneaking away from me and then coming back? Like, some of you are confused about what this person actually want with you. You're like, what do you want with me? And they won't tell you. They won't bring any clarity to the situation, but also they won't leave you alone. So the universe is saying, trust your judgment, because I feel like you're looking for answers from this person. And the universe is saying you should be looking for answers from yourself. Okay. And I know some of you don't want to hear that because you're like, oh my God, like that sounds so cliche. I don't want to hear it. But with the high priestess coming out here early on in your reading and then showing up in the pre-shuffle quite a few times universe is saying learn to trust your own judgment you know we have the page of wands and the page of swords some of you are looking back it's like you're you're leaving or you're wanting to leave a situation but you keep looking back at it you're going to get communication too possibly from a younger fire sign aries leo sagittarius or a younger air sign libra gemini aquarius for some of you or this is someone who's immature, they don't have much to offer, but they keep wanting to stick this out with you. So it's like every time you leave or you tell this person that you're going to leave, they may try to stop you by, you know, telling you what you want to hear. But the universe is saying it's time to um, go in a different direction. Even if it's not for good you know it could be for, you know it could be temporary but it's time to make something happen take action on something here we have the page 
I'm sorry, not the page of pentacles. I'm sorry. The five of pentacles. We have the five of pentacles. That wanted to come out. The four of wands reversed. And the king of cups. Some of you are struggling with a water sign. And with this four of wands and the five of pentacles, you're like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to make it. You're trying. You're, you're trying to hang in there. I feel like one minute you're leaving this person out in the cold or you feel like they're leaving you out in the cold. A Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You're like, things are just, they're not balanced. They're not stable. Some of you may be married to this water sign. You feel like this foundation is broken. This person doesn't open up. They don't talk about their feelings. This may be someone that you live with. They may walk around the house and not say anything to you for days. And you're like, okay, so where the hell is this going then? If we're not talking to each other, are we going to ever talk again? Or are we just going to keep walking around ignoring each other? I feel like some of you are waiting to, um, to hear from your person. It's like you're waiting to hear from someone, but you don't want to hear from them. Does that make sense, y'all? Like, I, I'm waiting to hear from them because I want to know, do they still want this? And if they still love me, but I still don't want to talk to them because we don't have anything to talk about. Like, what are we going to talk about? Because you feel like this person is um, unreliable. Like, you don't trust them. What messages do you have? The Ace of Cups. All right. We have the moon here. I feel like some of you don't see new love coming in for you. I'm hearing make space, make room for new love. If this person don't deserve to stay in your life, don't let them occupy the space. With the nine of pentacles, you're very independent. You're wealthy. You do fine by yourself. The universe is saying you don't need this person. It could be a Pisces. You could be a Virgo dealing with the Pisces. And the universe may be trying to reach out to you and tell you something. You may also find something out or you saw something with the moon. Also, um, some of you, you have a lot of negative emotions about this relationship that you're in. And you're like, I'm, I'm ready for new love. But then again, you're questioning it. You're like, I don't know. Because I might have to get to know someone all over again. And I don't know if I'm ready to do that. Because you feel like you're still feeling something for this person. Um, I feel like some of you are afraid to get to know someone new. And I don't know if it's that you're totally like afraid or you're just reluctant. Because you're like, oh, here we go again. I got to get to know someone after learning this person, right? Even though it didn't work out. What messages do you have for the collective? What do they need to know? I keep seeing the Nine of Swords. So we have the Nine of Swords, the Strength card reverse, the Tower. Some of you are fighting with the Leo or an Aries, but um, we have two major offenders. This person may be married. Or they may have a family situation with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Also, for some of you, I feel like you could be a Leo dealing with an Aries and you're sick of this person because they can't keep a job. Their, their money is always screwed up. And you're like, I'm tired of doing everything. I'm hearing I'm tired of doing everything. Like, why do I have to do everything? This person know it too. They know you're tired of them. They have a lot of anxiety. Somebody here has a lot of anxiety about you walking away from them. They won't admit it, though. They're fearful. They're afraid. Leo energy, Aries energy. What messages do you have for the collective? What do they need to know? Yeah. Ten of Wands. The nine of cups reverse. Somebody is not happy with themselves. They call they cause you a lot of stress and grief because they're not happy with their life. Look at that. 
And so every time you talk to this person, they may have an attitude. Um, yeah, and you're like, what? What's the problem now? Like, what did I do? Like, why are you treating me like this? Or why are you talking to me like this? And what you don't know, that is not you. It's them. This person needs to get their shit together. Like I said, they're unhappy with themselves. With the Nine of Cups reversed... This could be someone who work a job that what they don't like and they feel like no matter how hard they work, they still feel, you know, like they don't make enough or they, they feel broke. This is someone who feels like they're investing in something and they're not really seeing anything come out of it yet. Also with the Ten of Wands, I'm picking up the energy that... Um, this is someone who has a lot. They may live with someone and have a lot of issues with this person. And they they don't tell you what's going on. It's just that when you're trying to get in contact with them and they're not making themselves available, you feel like it's you. And you want this person to open up and tell you what's going on. And you feel like they don't. They shut down on you. But then they come towards you when they want your attention. I just feel like this is um, someone who does a lot of thinking about you as well. Right? They may feel like... I don't know if they feel like they don't measure up. Or they, they're not who you need them to be. So they don't come in and try to have something more with you. We have the double reverse, the three of cups, the three of swords, and the king of wands. Some of you could be a Capricorn dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and you're detaching yourself from them because of this third party situation. This person keeps turning their back on you and acting like they don't care. And then when you turn your back and you detach from the... Oh, these cards almost fell. I'm sorry. <laughs> when you detach yourself from the situation and act like you don't care, then here they come. They want to talk. They want to send you a text. What you doing? What you been up to? I was thinking about you. You're like, okay, well, I was thinking about you too. And what I was thinking about is I don't want to do this shit no more. <laughs> like, I, I can't do this anymore. I'm just hearing, I can't do this. Some of you are trying to definitely liberate yourself from this situation and this person. But you know that they're not going to leave you alone. That's why I felt like when I was doing your pre-shuffle that some of you are disappointed that you can't keep your word. Because you tell yourself that I'm not going to talk to this person. I'm not going to answer their text messages. When they call me, I'm going to ignore them. And for the most part, I feel like at first you do. And then... After a couple of days or after a couple of weeks, you may unblock someone or you may wind up responding to a text message because you are like, I want to hear what this person has to say. Like, what do they have to say for themselves? And then once you talk to them, you're like, I knew it. I knew I should not have responded to them because they just piss you off further because they either have nothing to say or it's like they don't want to talk about what you want to talk about. They don't want to talk about fixing the situation. We have the Queen of Cups. With the three of pentacles reversed, the four of cups, and the eight of cups. Oh, yeah, you're walk some of you are a water sign walking away from someone. You're like, this is crazy. You're bored with this connection because I feel like this person, they don't show up for you. Some of you don't get to see somebody. You don't get to see them that much. You're like, how can we possibly have a relationship? How can we be working on being together when I hardly ever see you? I feel like this person lies a lot. Like they promise you that they're going to come through and they don't. Whether that's calling you, texting you, showing up, taking you somewhere. It's like they just don't come through for you. They give you a lot of excuses. Spare what messages do you have for the collectors? What do they need to know? The Six of Wands. 
Some of you um, have success coming in, though, with the judgment and the six of wands. Something you've been working hard on is going to be very successful. I feel like people are going to be looking up to you. I don't know if some of you are um, influencers. You may have a TikTok channel or a YouTube channel or something that you're, you've been working really hard on. And I feel like it's going to cause you to have a wake up call about your situation. You're like, I'm moving forward. This person is standing still. They're not doing anything with their life. They're not treating me right. Why am I still holding on to this? They're not committing to this relationship. I don't know what this is that we're doing. We have Taurus energy with the Hierophant reverse and Scorpio energy. So some of you could be a Scorpio dealing with the Taurus. But if not, there is going to be a wake up call. Definitely. You're either already having it or it's coming. Um, you may wind up walking away from a situation and just toughen it out for some of you. Either this has already happened and this is what you're going through now. If so, the universe is saying you're going to be fine. You did have that Ace of Cups. So there is new love coming in for you. And if not, if you haven't done this already... Is coming. There, like, there's going to be some obstacles, though. It's not going to be easy to walk away from this person because I feel like they're going to tug at you back and forth. Like, um, as soon as they feel like you're serious and you're really walking away from this, this person may try to chase after you, you know, start putting in the effort, trying to hang on to you with the Four of Pentacles. You have the Queen of Pentacles here with the world. Some of you are on Earth sign and you're like, this cycle is over. The universe is letting you know it. You could be getting messages from spirit. Okay. Your dreams may be telling you something. You may be seeing um, angel numbers. Make sure you're paying attention to whatever those numbers are. I feel like, you know, they're appearing in your life to help you out with this situation. If you're an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn wanting to end a situation, I do see this person hanging on to you and not wanting you to walk away. I'm seeing a lot of Capricorn, Virgo energy here. Spirit messages do you have. All right, let's get one more. All right, Spirit said two more. So you have the Six of Pentacles reversed. The Ace of Swords... The Ten of Swords, yep, the Page of Cups. Some of you are going to get into an argument with your person. And the reason why I feel like you're going to argue with this person is because you're wanting to, you're ready to walk away from this because you're like, okay, this person played too many games with you. And now here they go, wanting a fresh start, telling you like they've made a decision. They're, they're thinking clearly now. I know what I want now with this Ace of Swords and this Knight of Swords. And I feel like, you know, with this card, you're going to be like, no, let me tell you what's on my mind because I need to, because first of all, I feel like some of you are holding back what you really want to say, but you're like, no, I don't have anything to say to this person. So I'm going to just suppress my feelings all the way around the board. They already stabbed you in the back and betrayed you several times. And you're like, okay, you know, I know you're not going to act right. I see that. Fine. Let me just go my own way. But I don't feel like this person is going to let you go your own way because the page of cups is here. So here they come with this love offer. Or something, a conversation, communication or something, trying to say something to you or tell you something. And I just feel like you're going <laughs> to just give this person. Some of you are about to give somebody a piece of your mind. If you haven't already, you will. Because you're tired of waiting on this person. You're tired of this person playing games, you know, back and forth with you. And I just feel like it's hard to, with the Magician Reverse, some of you could be dealing with a, a Virgo or a Gemini. It's hard to manifest with this person when they're in this energy. This back and forth is just driving. I feel like it's driving you crazy. You feel like you've waited long enough. All right, let's get one more. So we have the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, <laughs> Two of Swords. I know I said one more. Some of you are a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you feel like this person is doing you wrong and you're like, I'm not taking it anymore. 
the justice card is reversed. And I feel like you may be thinking about everything that this person did wrong to you. It's hard to fix this disagreement. If you're a fire sign, you feel like it's hard to fix this disagreement because you're like, why should I let what you did go? Why should I let it go? Why should I keep excusing what you're doing or overlooking what you're doing? Something is going to unfold very quickly. A text message, a phone call, someone dropping past your house to see you. I feel like something's going to, um, some of you have shut down maybe on this person. The next part we have is the five of swords. So I do see an apology coming. Someone wanting to, um, compromise. They, they want to come out of this, this bad energy that you guys are in. But I don't feel like you're going to trust it. With the two of swords, you're going to be going back and forth, like, with your, you know, trying to figure out like should I even even allow them to explain should I even accept this apology because I know that they're going to disappoint me all over again at some point some of you may be dealing with the Libra you could be a um a Leo dealing with the Libra but I do see communication here for those of you who are um questioning that whether you'll talk to your person I don't know if the conversation is going to go good though because I saw the Ace of Swords. Uh, I'm sorry, not the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords. And I did see the Tower, I believe. Even though it wasn't in reverse. I feel like you're going to come out of the energy with this person. But I just feel like some of y'all are about to give this person a piece of your mind. And be like, listen, stop playing with me. Because I don't have time for it. Yeah. We have the hangman, the five of wands. I was just trying to see what else was coming out after this. I know I said that was the last one. <laughs> yeah, you're not happy. You're like, you've been holding off on something, on telling this person something. For some of you, this is definitely a Leo. We have Leo energy here with the sun card reverse and Leo energy here with the five of wands. I do see conflict coming. You've delayed this as long as possible. I feel like some of you have something that you either need to say. You found out something about this person and you haven't been talking. Maybe you've been ignoring them and then you're like, no, fine. Nope. I'm just going to let you know how I feel and let the chips fall where they may. If we get into an argument, if we get into a fight, it's whatever. You're like, I'm tired of holding back my feelings. I'm tired of you trying to play me. I can't deal with it uh, anymore. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.